So we're going to be drawing data flow diagrams. This is level zero data flow diagrams. We're we'll looking at context diagrams a bit later on. But you have a business description here. Here there's two paragraphs talking about customer purchasing something, getting a drink made, and ordering the stock. So there's a few things to know about that and how we come up with this final one. First one is in any DFD or data flow diagram, or logical data flow diagram, you have external entities. These are things that are passing information into the system, receiving information from the system, but are actually part of the system that are out of your control, but you can receive information. You can have multiple external entities. In this one here, there's also the cashier, which is not an external entity, it's part of the system. These are normally nouns, they're normally products, people, or things that can receive information, not controlled by your system. Inside your system, you'll have processes. Processes always have a doing word. Processing means doing something to something. So it means here, purchasing is the doing word, purchasing drink is process number one. You can have more than one process. In fact, it's typical to have many processes in the system. So here, process number two, those processes are always circles and they always have a number. And so here, the weekly stock ordering. There are also data stores. Data store is where the data is stored, often could be called a table, but that is where all the information for the systems and processes is kept. So now you have the information flowing. This is a data flow diagram, so we want to know where the data is flowing to and from. So typically the data flows are an arrow, freehand drawn from one place or another and showing the actual information. This is a logical data flow system, so it should never actually be anything physical, nothing like cash or an object or a receipt. It should flow only about the information or details on them. So we always make sure, give them a label that says details or information, so we know we're not talking about the actual order itself, the piece of paper, which is the order, or the purchase, which is the actual drink purchase, is the details about your drink. So latte for Mr. Smith. That's the information. Some really important rules here with data flows. A data flow can never go from one external entity to another external entity, and a data flow can never go from a customer to a data store either way. So it doesn't matter which way it's going, it doesn't matter, it can't go in or out of a data store to a customer, it can't go back and forth between employees. They can only go from external entities to processes, processes to data stores, and processes to process. So we can have something that looks like this, we have data flowing from an external entity to a process and data flowing in and out from a data store to a process. So let's get going, having a look at our first one. So here we've identified a customer as an external entity. I've circled that in red so you can see it there. So it's a square with the label inside. Also, the employees, we have said the employee is not part of the process. They're an external entity for this process. And the vendor is the third and final one that we've identified for this process. The vendor is not part of the process, they're an external entity. The first process is this section here about purchasing the drink. So that's process number one. So it's got one set of circle and it's the first process. Our next one is the weekly stock ordering process. So that's stock number two. And that's also a circle and numbered. From this here, we can see I've highlighted in green. The only data store that seems to be in this system is the stock ordering data store. So it's just one data store. So here, so we, here have we have the... So what we're looking at now is the first flow information. So it's the payment details. It's coming from the customer to purchase the drink process. That is taken in the process system and given to the employee. The employee then takes those details, does what they need to do and makes the drinks, then pass that information back to the system to say that the order is complete. Here's the information about the order, which is then passed back to the customer. So that's all legal there, it's all allowed. Information is only flowing from entity to process and vice versa. The next part of the system is where we weekly to the stock order. So the stock employee puts the stock order into the second part of the process 
see what has to be ordered. This is entered in the data store for use later on. And this process sends out an order to the vendor. Once the vendor has the order and is ready to purchase and send on the details, they send the details about the delivery when it will arrive on what's part of it. The stock ordering system will then query the database, check to see whether the delivery details match what was had stored in the data store. And if it is all correct, it'll be then sent the payment details. So that's a very simple um, system. They will have a look at the context diagram in a little while, but that's an introduction to data flow diagrams.